Now, WLOX Birth Alert Weather with meteorologist Wesley Williams. Good morning, everyone. Here's a look at the peak wind gust speeds we've seen so far today from various spots in the region. In Gulfport, it appears we've seen the windiest weather out of everyone in the region. A 29 mile per hour wind gust clocked at the airport just before 11 o'clock this morning. And we're going to continue to see increasing wind gust speeds. I think they'll be around 30 or 35 miles an hour at times this morning. Temperature still in the 50s, perhaps near Waveland, but many areas have already made it into the 60s. Hard to believe it was just five or six hours ago we were in the cold 30s and chilly 40s in many areas. So all of that warmth is going to help Maybe a few rumbles of thunder to develop as we go to this afternoon. Uh, thunderstorms tend to feed off of warmth and heat, so the warmer our temperature goes, the more likely we are to have a few thunderstorms in the mix heading into later today. Rain chances are still expected to increase as we go into the afternoon. As you can see, the highest chances could be around 5 p.m. or so when that gets to 90 percent. One of my favorite ways uh, that I like to see if or when the rain is coming is to use our first alert weather app. But before I get to that, we want to show you what's happening now on our first alert radar. You can see showers and thunderstorms off to our west. They are just now making it through Lafayette on the way to Baton Rouge. So by the time we get to this afternoon, all of that will begin to move into South Mississippi. I'm keeping an eye on this zone down here offshore because those will be the one the storms that have the best potential to try to rotate because Coming a little bit stronger. I uh, even see them with the less of a linear appearance as of the last few radar frames. So that will be if there's going to be like a water spout uh, concern. Those offshore ones, one to keep an eye on. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. One of my favorite ways to see if the rain is coming. I have the WLOX weather app on my device here. Hopefully, you have it downloaded for you. If you open the app, open the radar by tapping that bottom right button that says radar. Uh, this is what you would see, and you can interact with it and move the map around. I want to hit the play button. I have it set to future, and this will help me to time when the rain is going to arrive at my location. It's showing it near Baton Rouge by noon today. Look, we're at 1 and 2 p.m., still nothing on our area, but then 3 p.m., and there go the showers and storms hitting Pearl River County, 4, 5 p.m. into Stone and Harrison counties. And so that's a great way that you can, again, be uh, able to see when the rain is going to move in. You don't have to, like, look at it like that. You can actually touch that little um, sort of cursor there and drag it back and forth and let it sit still so you, do, you can have a lot more time to see when the rain is moving in. Obviously, you can zoom in and zoom out. So, again, I encourage you to have our first alert weather app. I use it, and I think it's good enough for anyone else to use as well. Uh, wind advisory is in play. So because of this system moving in, the winds are going to start picking up the entire Mississippi coast under that wind advisory starting from noon today to 8 p.m. Wind gusts could top 30 miles an hour and we could see a few of these hazards in the area. I hope we don't see any of those hazards, but you can't rule it out. Maybe a stray tree limb gets downed. If that tree limb hits a power line, then you're looking at a little outage in one of our towns or communities, but hopefully we can make it with uh, none of that in the area. There's a look at the future cast pulling that system through the region today. Of course, we do have our television future cast, which is similar to the one in the app, but I personally think the one in the app is a little more accurate because it takes what the radar is showing into account in reality and that way it gets an even more accurate picture in my opinion but uh, today they are close the TV future cast and the app future cast they show between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. those strong storms moving through and then things tend to quiet down once we get to after 9 p.m. so if you have outdoor plans Maybe our severe weather silence comes to an end today. It's been 35 days since the last time we saw a severe thunderstorm warning, and I think that we have a low risk of getting one of those at some point between 3 p.m. and 10 p.m. today. Can't rule out a tornado warning or a flood alert either, and that's, again, again, a good thing to have that app for in case any of those alerts are issued. You'll be able to receive them first. There's our three-day forecast showing that things are going to dry up as we go into the weekend, and beyond that, another rain system coming in early next week. So we we only get a brief break over the weekend, then we're back at it with rain and storms next Monday, Monday night, and next Tuesday.